What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and I make videos about photography, camera gear, amateur videography, and vlogs. So in today's video, I'm talking to you about why I sold all of my Nikon DSLR gear, including my lenses, and picked up something shiny and new. So. Uh, let's talk about it just a little bit. I, I just got rid of a ton of gear. I sold a D750, a D7100, a 28, a 45, a 50, an 85, a 24 to 70, and a 7200 F mount lenses and bodies. So it was sad. It was sad to see all of that gear go, but I'm actually really excited about the direction that I'm going with the equipment that I have to get the kind of results that I want. What did I pick up? Well, we'll get to that in a second, but I want to start by saying uh, if you're into photography, camera gear, amateur videography, vlogs, anything like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and uh, let's talk about this just a little bit more. So let's start with this. I went all mirrorless. All right, all mirrorless, and there's a couple reasons. I'm gonna talk about those reasons right now. So number one, um, I went mirrorless because I am doing a lot more video content these days, especially for things like this YouTube channel. And mirrorless just does better than DSLRs for videos. Number two, I love the autofocusing system on mirrorless cameras, primarily because all of them have an autofocus system that goes all the way to the edge of the frame. So with with that, you don't have to do the old focus and recompose trick like you had to with DSLRs when all of the focusing points were arranged in the center. No, now you've got the full width of the sensor full of auto focusing points so you can put your focus anywhere that you want. By doing that, I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a quality of life thing, but it allows you to get shots that you wouldn't have been able to get before. And the last reason I decided to go with a mirrorless setup, so I like to think of myself as a, a wise investor when it comes to my camera gear purchases. And I just don't think it's a good idea to keep investing in DSLR lenses and bodies. The companies that still make those, Nikon, Canon, and whomever else, they're not going to be spending a ton of R&D money on manufacturing things for DSLRs when the competition from Canon and Sony and Fuji and others is just like it's all headed in the direction of mirrorless. I think investing in DSLR stuff right now is, you're gonna get some great equipment and you'll probably get it at a really nice cost, but the fact of the matter is, like I don't know how future-proof that gear is going to be. Um, I'm the kind of guy that likes to have the latest and the greatest when it comes to my tech and my cameras and my phones and my computers and all that stuff. Mirrorless cameras in those systems are the latest and greatest and that's where the companies are going to be putting their money to develop cooler products from here on out. So what did I get? Not there yet. Let's talk about everything that I looked at before I made my purchase. What I did, I, uh, I listed all of my DSLR gear just on Facebook Marketplace, which, you know, I've had some mixed experiences with Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes you get people, you know, kind of jerking you around and trying to get you way down on the price or making stupid offers or, you know, just ghosting you. Uh, yeah, I'm super interested. And then you never hear back from this person when you're supposed to meet up with them. But I listed all of my gear and within like three days, practically everything had sold. So I made a nice return on my initial investment and I said, okay, I'm gonna get the Canon R6. I wanted the R6 because Canon colors are great, Canon video is great, 4K at 60 frames per second looks fantastic, no crop, C-log, all that, yada, yada, yada. Um, I looked at the Canon, I tried it out, and I hated it. And I hated it because I don't, I just, I did not like the way that body felt in my hands. I didn't like that, and I didn't love the menu system, and to be quite frank, the RF system, the RF glass, is very expensive. So I looked at that, and I was like, okay, well, let me check out Sony. Uh, I picked up an A7 III, I picked up an A7R4, didn't touch an A1 because I can't afford that, but uh, you know, I, I, I tried those cameras out and they have incredible autofocus and they have some pretty good G Master glass, but the fact is, I, like, I don't like the menu system, I don't like the colors, and I just don't like like the user interface. It just, it, something about it just felt uncomfortable using. Uh, and then I looked at the Z6 II and the Z7 II. You know, I, I really loved the way those bodies felt, 
And uh, well, that's what I ended up with. So folks, now introducing to you my brand new Nikon Z6 II and 50 millimeter 1.S lens. So this guy, so far, fantastic camera. I love the way it feels. I love the way it handles. I love the customization of all of the function buttons and the joy pad, uh, the record button, the okay button. Like I can set this thing up any way I want and I know I'm gonna be able to get the kind of results that I want. I have been a long time Nikon shooter. My primary camera for the past several years has been the Nikon D750. And I've got some incredible results with that thing, but it, it was just time to take a step into the future and get with the times on what's happening in the camera market. That is why I went with the mirrorless camera. Now, I've only been out and shot with this camera just a few times. We've actually had some kind of bad weather uh, where I live, so I haven't got to put it through its paces yet. But from what I've seen so far, I'm really gonna love shooting with this thing. It, you know, for me, the most important thing is it feels like an Icon camera, which I am so intimately familiar with because I've shot on them since I started photography, you know, years and years ago. For me, I know I'm gonna be able to rely on it. I know it's gonna to be tough. I know it's gonna stand up to the weather and I know I'm gonna get incredible image quality out of it. I'm also just like super excited to be able to test out the video features that I'm going to get with this that I never was able to have with my DSLR cameras. That being said, guys, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you wanna know more about the Z6 II, if you wanna talk mirrorless cameras, if you wanna talk photography, videography, hit the subscribe button down below because it really helps me out. Also, let me know, have you made the switch from DSLR to mirrorless? If you have, what system did you go with? What do you like about it? What do you not like? Let me know in the comment section below and uh, we'll have a great conversation down there. Otherwise, guys, that's all I have. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.